Humans have seek to explain the big, but today I am going to take you to the realm of the small. I am going to take you to the quantum realm. Hello, my name is Zayd al Mukhrili DC, and today I'm going to talk about one of the most underestimated forces of our universe, and it's saving your life every day. The weak force. Now, what is the weak force? It is the force that allows a particle composite or elementary, as long as it is a fermion, to change state or flavor in order for the atom hosting it to become more stable. You might think, when does this happen? How does this happen? Where do we observe this? Well, calm down. You observe it in unstable nuclear nuclei. And an unstable atom decides to change things up, get a stable lifestyle, be more uh, dormant rather than radioactively uh, active, and it does that through radiation, nuclear radiation to be specific, also known as nuclear decay. Today I'm going to talk about one of three cases of nuclear decay, beta decay. Now beta decay goes into two types of decay, beta decay minus and beta decay plus, but I'm talking about the second case. Beta decay plus. Now, what is beta decay plus? It is when a dear proton to our hearts loses a positron and an electron neutrino in order to give the atom its stability. It is basically sacrificing one of the most precious antiparticles right there just for the sake of that atom not blowing up in your face someday into bulbs of energy melting your face off. When it decides to do that, the atomic number reaches a more stable state, becoming neutrons and protons in a more balanced way. Now, you might think, uh, why is this called the weak force? Why it's saving us? Why is it weak? Well, because its field is rather, not only rather, it's very, it's very bad. The field is very bad. Now, once it releases that positron and that electron neutrino, they rapidly decay into other more stable uh, particles. Now, the weak force has something you call a gauge boson. Gauge bosons first carrier like a photon. Photon carries electromagnetic force from particle to another. Now, that gauge boson is like uh, someone that gets your luggage from your home to your car, for example, when you want to go out or something. Now, the force is the luggage and it is carrying it from one particle to another called the house. Core. Now, those gauge bosons are pretty fat. Yes, W plus and W minus and Z. I am talking about you. Stop interacting with that Higgs field right now. It's bad for you. Now, next time a rock of radioactive stuff doesn't blow up in your face, thank the weak 